Hi everyone, Lewis here, and I thought I'd bring some recent news relating to Pokemon Go. If you like this video, please hit the like button. Be sure to subscribe to the channel and hit the bell for alerts of when I upload new content to the channel, especially those with disabilities similar to mine. Again, I apologize for the lack of these kind of videos, as things in life and lack of content to re report have been the reasons why. But I'm back. And I'm here to tell you a lot of exciting things that are coming to Pokemon Go. And I'm going to start with, this week, Niantic has announced Tynamo Community Day, which will be the Community Day for the month of July, starting on Sunday, July 21st, from 2 p.m. to 5 p.m. local time. And Tynamo will be frequently appearing in the wild. And if you evolve Ill Trick, the evolved form of Tynamo, all the way to Ill Lek Cross, it will learn the move Volt Switch. And the Community Day Special Research Story, which will be $1 or local equivalent currency depending on which part of the world will also be available and event bonuses will also include hatch distance when eggs are placed into incubators during the event period for one fourth distance two times candy for catching Pokemon two times chance for trainers level 31 and up to receive XL candies from catching Pokemon. Lore modules activated during the event will last for up to 3 hours. Incense excluding daily adventure incense activated during the event will last for 3 hours. Take up the 5 snapshots during community day for a photobomb encounter with Tynamo. And one additional special trade can be made, giving you a total of three special trades for the day. And trades will cost 50% less Stardust. Lastly, there will be bonus raid battles after Community Day for Tynamo's Evolve Form. Electric will appear in four star raids. Also announced, Supernova 2024 in Perth, Australia. And the event bonuses for this, if you live in Australia, in the Perth area, lore modules, excluding gold, then lore modules activated during the event will last for up to three hours. Lore modules will have a chance for attracting unknown S, two times buddy catch assistance chance, and one half stardust cost for raids. There will be field research tasks for Hisuian Growlithe, Larvitar, Ondino, Axew, Furfru, and Jam Mango. And there will be a time research event called Me, You, and Pikachu which is named after one of the songs from one of the Pokemon anime dubbed dubs from the 90s. In other Pokemon news, in preparation of GoFest, there will be backgrounds related to Soligo, Luana, and Necroza for the event. There will also be an event where all the Ultra Beasts, including the recent ones, will all be returning into raids. And just like the previous raids, Stealstila, Kartana, Stakataka, Blant, Savan, Buzzwall, Faramosa, and Zerktree will be region locked, whereas Guzzlore 
and Nile Ego will not be. And the majority of those Ultras can be shiny, except for the two recent ones. There will also be a timed research event where you can catch every single Ultra Beast as a reward. Unlike doing raids, there will also be event bonuses like remote raid, pass limit, increase to 20 until July 11th. There'll be no limits on remote raids until the 14th. And there will also be level 31 and up trainers with guaranteed XL candies for trading Pokemon until the 14th. And you still have time to go get the inbound from Ultra Space Ticket for GoFest in the store. The, there will also be a event to collaborate between Pokemon Go and Play Pokemon from Monday, July 8th to Friday, July 12th. One more thing. There will also be Pokemon Go community meetups for GoFest Global. And this weekend I will be doing my Patty Mermaid certifications with Mermaid Tasha. Stay tuned to see a video possibly in regards to that. Thanks for watching, everyone. You can also follow me on Instagram, Threads, Twitch, TikTok, and Facebook. And remember, it's time for adventure.